The following program was paid for by Real Estate Radio Network. The hosts are not an employee of WMTR or its parent company, Greater Media. The views and opinions expressed on the credit pros on Real Estate Radio New Jersey are not necessarily those of the staff and management of WMTR. Station management has not investigated the claims made in financial service spots that may air during this program. As always, it is advisable to consult a professional before making a major financial decision. You're listening to The Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio New Jersey on 1250 AM WMTR. Now your hosts, local credit experts, Damon DiCrescenzo and attorney Jason Kaplan. Good morning, New Jersey. Welcome to the Real Estate Radio Network. I'm Jason Kaplan with my co-host Damon DiCrescenzo, bringing to you live The Credit Pros every Sunday morning from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Damon, say hello. He seems a little cranky this morning. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us. Uh, For those who don't know, the Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio Network, we're a program that's dedicated to speaking about your finances, your credit, the local real estate and housing markets, uh, because in every market, as you know, there are opportunities that should not be passed up, and we try to give you some good, clear advice, some strategy on how to make some money and keep the money that you earn in your pocket. For those that want to give us a ring, please do. Uh, We're here in the studio and would love to speak with you. Our number is 973-771-5118. Again, 973-771-5118 or on the web at creditrepair.to. So it's been a little bit of an exciting week, but a, a, a sh- terrible morning for me so far. Uh, and, and I'm a little bit irritated, so you have to forgive me. And it'll probably come through in my voice because it started when my coffee machine broke this morning. And it just speaks volumes about how cheaply made things are. But the most important things in your life that should really stand up uh, to the wear and tear in life really don't. How many cups of coffee have you made with your coffee machine, Damon? Your hubby doesn't stand no, up. No, no. It's we, we just got this coffee machine a couple of months ago, and it's broken already. And it's not just broken that it doesn't make coffee. Worse, it makes coffee, and then when you try to pour the coffee in your cup, it spills the entire pot of coffee all over the counter. Why don't you get that new Kruger's one? I told you about that. I have a, a fundamental problem with that. And for if you're listening and, and you have one of these Kruger's or one cup makers, you know what I mean. And I equate them a bit to heroin dealers because uh, they'll give you a really cheap machine at first to get you hooked on the product, just like a heroin dealer. But the problem is once you're hooked on the product, you have to go and buy these specially made only one size cups to fit this specially made uh, coffee maker, and that's it. You're paying overpriced for the rest of your days. Yeah, but their coffee maker doesn't spill when you try to pour it. It doesn't break. It seems like a pretty good machine. I got it on eBay for $97. Yeah, and you don't even drink coffee, which is so weird. Yeah, but my girlfriend does, and that's the whole case. You're a good boyfriend, Jason. Uh, So thanks for joining us today. We really uh, have an interesting show on tap for you, so you'll make sure that you stick around for the whole thing. We've been talking a lot about networking, whether it be locally in your community or uh, networking here in New Jersey. And we've been uh, spending some time at a, at a networking event called Network Plus here in New Jersey. If, if you're um, a professional in any uh, sort of industry in New Jersey, perhaps you've heard of it. And we're really uh, fortunate to have the creator of this networking event joining us today. His name is Ted Fatteras, and he's going to be joining us a little bit later. Uh, so also, we have some interesting things. Ten ways to spring clean your finances. And, and you and I have been knocking this around a little bit, Jason. So Jason and I put together a list of really the top ten ways for you to clear out your life and clear out the, your closet and, and get your finances order in order going into this spring. Uh, but before we, we get into that... You know, I wanted to talk a little bit about a, a debt collector that, that we read from the police blotter the other day. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this guy, Jason? Yeah, well, this made Damon smile because Damon hates debt collectors. But the guy's name, well, his nickname is um, Bags of Money, <laughs> is, the, is the nickname he goes by. His name is Tobias Boy, Boyland. He's 33 years old out of Buffalo. And he was arrested by Robinson Police and members of the U.S. Marshals Department in Western Pennsylvania where they found him waiting outside an automobile repair shop. 
Um, he was wanted for a few things, including sticking guns in people's faces during armed robberies. But at one point, he had nine debt collection companies in western New York, which were closed by Cuomo when he was the attorney general of New York. Um, they accused him and his employees of lying, bullying, preying on people, and pretending to be police officers, threatening to throw them in jail, and in a couple cases, actually resorting to physical violence to collect a debt, which surprises me because I didn't think they'd leave their office and go to someone's house. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many levels this irritates me on? To begin with, I'm having a bad morning. Let me start by saying that this guy is a piece of garbage. And I'm so glad that they caught him and hopefully they torture him the way that they torch, torture children molesters in jail. Well, you know, he, he they got him and he actually in the, was in the process of opening up three more debt collection companies um, outside of Pennsylvania, outside of Pittsburgh, as well as um, Western Maryland. He's an animal. He's a filthy animal, and hopefully they lock him away forever. But he, stay with me on this, and this is really where I'm irritated. So you, the consumer, are fighting against uh, bags of money and people like him, people who are malicious and going after you and not paying any attention to the law. But... Uh, your state's attorney general in New Jersey just recently said that credit repair is a sham and that anyone can repair their own credit. How could you possibly be expected to automatically know what to do when a piece of garbage like bags of money goes after you? I agree. I mean, I've dedicated my entire life, and I've gone to um, four years of college, four years of postgraduate college, and three years of law school, and um, pr training with my law degree for the last 10 years, and I still don't know everything there is to know. Anyone can do anything. It's just a matter, are you going to do it well? Do you know the procedures and the process? So where do they get off? Where do they get, where does this, and I don't want to pick a fight, believe me, but where does the state's attorney general's office get off saying that credit repair or fighting on behalf of the consumer finally is wrong when these animals are walking around? I don't get it. I, I think he got um, courtside seats to the Nets game on behalf of Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian because they donate money and they lobby just as well as anyone. Yeah. Yeah, because not everyone can do credit restoration. Sure, anyone can go through the steps of uh, challenging inaccuracies on your credit report, and that is 100% true, and it is your right to do that, and you should do that. But the problem lies is what happens when that doesn't produce the result that you want. Oh, all, all the time I send out debt validation letters and various um, letters asking for explanation of what's owed, why it's owed, that it shouldn't be on the credit report. And I get back standard forms all the time saying, this is correct, please contact your credit bureaus. So the fact that you do things properly, there's no one enforcing the law. So that's the issue that you have there. The U.S. government has its heart in the right spot. That's why, you know, the Attorney General's office thinks everything's taken care of. Write the letter, the wrong will be corrected. But the truth of the matter is, no one's enforcing the law because the Attorney General's office is not concentrating on making sure that collection companies and the bureaus do what they're yeah, supposed to do. Dare I say, the Attorney General's office isn't concentrating where they should be concentrating. Dare I said it. If you're just joining us on this lovely Sunday morning or listening us to online, online as you may be, this is the Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio. We'd love to speak with you. Give us a call on our off-air number at 973-771-5118. Again, 973-771-5118. Or on the web at creditrepair.to. Why don't, we, why, don't we, why don't we switch topics a little bit, Damon? Why don't we start helping these individuals that are listening to our show by going over the 10 spring cleaning tips for your finances that we developed this weekend? Yeah, I think you really did. Uh, you hit a home run on this one, Jason. Let's start at number one. And, and this isn't in any kind of a numerical order of importance. These are all important. So if you're listening now, go and get a pen and paper. You're going to want to take notes on this because there's going to be some good information here. So the first one is organize your paperwork. You organize your finances. Um, basically what happens is the best way to be assured that you're not going to go into collections later on for something that's not, um, that you don't owe, is to have the proper documentation, the proper paperwork. So take out all the bills and stuff that you had piled up in your drawers and get a couple of binders and just save your last six months of your water bill, your last six months of your cable bill, um, your last six months of your bank statements. Just 
get a three-hole punch and bound it into a folder and just keep it in a folder. It'll be a couple of binders. You put that with your tax return for the last couple of years, and all of a sudden, when some collection pops up a little bit later, you're going to have the um, paperwork there to show that this stuff is accurate and this stuff is not correct and that you paid everything. And it's all organized. You're not going to have drawers and drawers full of um, crumpled up papers and folded miscellaneous bills. Right. And this is going to be a painful thing for those of you who are like me uh, and, and really have a difficult time paying attention to detail. I had a marry an anal retentive person and become partners with an anal retentive person just to be able to rein me in. So when it comes to organizing my paperwork so that I know that I have everything, I'm completely lost most of the time. Here's another tip for you, though. When you're organizing your paperwork and you have those bills and you're paying those bills, make sure that you write on the, the statement itself the amount that you paid to that bill and the day that you paid it. And if you're paying by a check, what check number you used. Trust me when I tell you, from personal experience, that information can uh, can be valuable, and it really makes sense to have. So organize your own paperwork. If you're married to someone that can organize it for you, have them do it. Whatever the case may be, make sure you have a process for keeping this stuff in the right place. Absolutely. And 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 the second goal that that I outlined, it, it's it's very general. Okay, but it's something that's extremely important. We talk about goal setting all the time. Just define or in some cases redefine and prepare your goals financially. If you want to save a couple thousand dollars into your savings for the year, if you plan for it, $200 a month is not a lot of money. By the time you hit December, you're going to have $2,400 if you saved it up all 12 months. Getting to large amounts of savings, just as an example, is very easy to accomplish when you plan for it. Just like anything is easier to accomplish when you plan for it. Well, here's one step further on that front, too. If you're just joining us, this is the Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio Network. Uh, give us a call on our off-air line. We're taking some calls later on today. 973-771-5118. Again, 973-771-5118. Uh, redefining your goals, uh, it's important, and we spoke about this a few weeks ago, that you write your goals down. It's important that as you define them in your mind, whether it be for the coming week or the coming year, they're put on paper. Because if not, they're really just ideas. They're not specific goals. As you identify what you want to accomplish, make sure that you put it on paper, write them out clearly, one at a time, one line at a time, and make sure that you're speaking in positive terms. I will be out of debt. I will have this credit card paid down this much. I will uh, make this much money. And as those goals are written down, it, it solidifies something in your subconscious mind. I know that it sounds kind of wishy-washy, but it's true. It solidifies something in your subconscious mind. The mere act of writing something down every day puts something into your mind that makes it more concrete and, and you'll try it every opportunity to put things uh, into action. I, I agree. And, you know, this is kind of on the same goal that I just mentioned. But you want to scavenge for the winter. You know, you want to prepare for when the weather changes and you're bundled up in your house. So that savings plan that I mentioned... Do it for the holidays, you know, save up $100 a month for the holidays. The next thing you know, when winter comes around, it's not too um, it's not too far gone that you remember how much money you spent a few months ago during the Christmas time. So all you have to do is just save up a little bit of money and you're ready to go when you're not digging into debt. You're not digging into credit card balances. You have to pay off the entire year because you've already saved up that money. You've already prepared. You've already stored your, I guess, coconuts in the tree. Yeah, I personally, I mean, we had an argument about about this uh, because saving up for winter is something my wife likes to do, uh, but it really is just an indicator of how much money she's planning on spending for Christmas, and that mm -hmm. it starts irritating me in April, mm -hmm. and then continues to irritate me all the way through Christmas time. And she doesn't take a break, so it's full year irritation. <laughs> I, I agree, but you know it needs to be done. Um, another tip that you could do: everyone has these um, investment accounts, and if you have an IRA and a four hundred one k and a savings account and all these different savings plans, well, sometimes it might be better to stick everything into one account. Okay, there are mutual funds to diversify funds within one account, and you should go to a financial planner if you want more details about that. I have a good one that I can recommend you if you want to call the off airline. But the idea is that sometimes you get a lot of momentum going and bigger growth when instead of having you know 
ten dollars or ten cents in every single account. You actually have an account with a little bit of money in it because you know it's it's, it's the evolution of the dollar. If you fund it properly, it will grow. Right. It, it makes sense to do if you have your your uh, mutual fund in Citibank and if you have your IRA at. Uh, at Washington Mutual, it makes sense to try to put all these under one roof because it gives you leverage. Leverage is an important uh, term. Learn it. It has something to do with investment. But the more money you have, the more money you can borrow, the more money you can use. What Jason said is absolutely true. If you have all of these things and you don't have a financial planner that you know and trust with your life, then you have something missing in your overall financial picture. We can recommend one to you. But I suggest that you pick up the phone and give us a call to do that. 1-800-411-3050 or locally, 973-771-5118. What else do we have? Well, this kind of plays off what we're talking about, a financial planner. If you're looking to save money, you don't, might not, you might not have the money to pay those fees, which, by the way, multiple accounts mean multiple fees, which is another reason to combine everything. The computer is a wonderful thing. If you have a smartphone, there are a lot of apps out there. There are different financial tools that you can put onto your laptop or onto your desktop computer. You don't necessarily need to get professional help in a sense that you're going to a um, Dean Witter or Smith Barney um, office and you're paying someone to be your advisor. There are very um, appropriate tools that you can put on your smartphone that will allow you to make these valuable decisions. That's a good tip. I think that if you have a smartphone and you're not using it to be smart, you're not smart. The idea is this opens up the doors for you to stay completely connected. You should take a look at Mint.com and their application. If you're banking with Citibank, you should download their application. If you're download, if you working with Wells Fargo, download their application. It allows you to always be tied in to your money, and, and when you're able to be tied into your money in that way, it keeps your finances top of mind. You're not out there blowing money like a lunatic because you always have a reminder sitting in your pocket of exactly what kind of damage is being done because of it. Absolutely. And and just moving on, because everything just flows into each other when you make these lists, number seven is if you're looking to protect yourself and you want everything together in one form, fraud alerts or a credit monitoring service will help make sure that you're not damaged by illegal activity through what you're trying to save up and, and, and create during the year. So uh, we have a couple of more credit tips. Uh, spring cleaning, your finances coming up after the break. Also, you are not going to believe the awesome information about networking you are going to be blessed with from Ted, the founder and creator of Network Plus at joinnetworkplus.com. You, my friends, are listening to The Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio Network here on 1250 AM. Pick up the phone and give us a ring. We'd love to speak with you. Our number is 973-771-5118 for any of your credit problems, your credit concerns, you just want to chat. 973-771-5118 or on the web at creditrepair.to. We'll speak to you after the break. For all your credit problems, concerns, or questions, call the show's off-air number at 973-771-5118 and speak to the hosts of the show, Damon DiCrescenzo and attorney Jason Kaplan, directly. 973-771-5118. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. Hello, Jason Kaplan here, host of The Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio New Jersey. I'm thrilled that I get to speak to you every week and bring you the truth about your credit. A lot of stuff you hear in the news is just flat out wrong. If you want the inside knowledge about what's going on with your credit, that's what I'm here for. Give me a call at 973 973- 771-5118 that's 973-771-5118 whether you're looking to buy a home get a job apply for car insurance your credit's the most important factor in these decisions i can help you make an educated decision about what's going on and what's best for you and your family it's easy i give you the real facts and you decide what to do from there just give me a call i'm here to help 973-771-5118 That's 973-771-5118 Or visit us online at creditrepair.to Thank you for listening and we'll be back from the break soon. For all your credit problems, concerns, or questions, call the show's off-air number at 973-771-5118 and speak to the hosts of the show, Damon DiCrescenzo and attorney Jason Kaplan, directly. 973 771